I just took a picture of my ass, and um, yeah, but it's a lot of bruising uh, on the coccyx, just in, it pretty much as uh, as I imagined. So I'm gonna try stretching as much as I can, giving a bit of a massage. I think when I get to Oxford, I'm gonna get some of that rubbing uh, uh, ibuprofen cream that you, you rub directly onto um, onto an injury. If you haven't tried it, it's like magic. And uh, maybe some deep heat as well. And uh, <laughs> I've tried so much in vain to get to this where it's clear that like I should just go home and rest for like a week. <laughs> Goodbye then, lovely camp. Would definitely come back here. Today it's going to be really, really super hot, like heat wave hot. There, I, I met a lovely gentleman. I, I went past on the river yesterday, uh, warned me about it. So that's why I've got, it's five o'clock, I've got really early, going to set off straight away. Get most of the paddling done in the morning and then take a break, probably about 11, for like a good few hours, miss the whole middle of the day, because I'm just going to be, I'm just going to get baked there. Because you get, with the, with, it's not just the sun, you know, directly on you, you know, when you're on the water, you get all that reflection, the reflected sunlight and everything. So it's just it's like double trouble. So it can be quite dangerous conditions when it's super hot heat waves. So it's uh, like 25 to nine and it's already baking hot. So that guy was not, telling lies man is when he said it was going to be hot today like can you imagine what it's going to be like later Oof. So it looks like there's a village up here and a pharmacy, so I'm um, <clears throat> gonna instigate Operation Painkiller. self-diagnosed you know I've uh, been on the NHS website and uh, it looks very much basically what I've done is, is uh, called coccidinia so it's just tailbone damage really where I think where I, where I fell I landed right on my tailbone um, so it just like all like all the symptoms on that on that web page like just, just yeah bang on basically so it's nothing serious for the for the treatment it said like avoid sitting for long periods of time <laughs> which is hilarious I, I should have done this on a stand-up paddle board and so then I went to the pharmacy here and um, got like the holy grail basically got loads of codeine in it they wouldn't sell me the um, ibuprofen gel that I wanted to rub onto it because um, they wouldn't sell two ibuprofen products together um, which is fair enough but they did recommend these um, like I don't know I've never, never used them before it's like these heat pads so I'm gonna put one of those on apparently it helps and I you know I'm, I'm not gonna rush it I'm just you know uh, 
just going to do what I can in the time I've got and, and have a nice time and enjoy it I'm out in the, the countryside and it's beautiful and I'm enjoying the camping you know I mean I, I'm going to rush till I get through like Reading or you know what I mean like uh, just enjoy this as like a bit of holiday and enjoy being in the outdoors <laughs> while I can before they lock us all up again for the winter you know Now it's raining, man. It was like the hottest day of the year earlier and I took all my clothes off and now it's raining. Got a little stowaway there on my leg. He's, uh, I've noticed him since uh, Godstow Lock and obviously he can't jump out. So he's just um, a little passenger. Looks like he's pointing the direction actually. Okay, yeah, you wanna go that way, fella? Let's go that way. First boat rollers. So near, but so far, I uh, I wanted to do a really just sail through Oxford tonight, get away from from, from the town, you know, and I'll uh, be back in the countryside. But um, there's like there's, I, there's no way I can get through this lock by myself, um, and uh, there's no boat rollers, there's no portage even. There, like the only way through this uh, lock, lock is like you know in in my boat through the lock. And I, 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 you know, uh, it's, it's like it's gone eight o'clock, you know, it's not going to happen. So um, I'm going to have to call it a night and uh, I'm just going to, you know, um, just, just like <laughs> to moor up with the other boats and uh, put my little tarp tent, set that up and <laughs> camp on the, uh, on the towpath and they just get up early in the morning, get through the lock, get, get away. Uh, that was the worst night's sleep ever. <laughs> So this, uh, this like tarp tent uh, configuration, I think it, it needs to be somewhere sheltered really. And uh, I just up here, it's, uh, it's very exposed and open. And um, last night was all, all the weather, so really windy, raining. Um, oh, it's just terrible, it's, it's weird. Like yesterday was the, um, it was the hottest day of the year. And then last night was just completely, just, just awful really. So this thing kept, you know, 
stack in it the whole wet tarp would fall on top of me and wake me up and uh, it just kept happening and the wind like blowing the tarp was really noisy and then there's this Friday nights there's people walking past the towpath talking really loudly and um, yeah it was just uh, just hilarious really um. So when I got to the uh, the lock last night, couldn't get through, stayed put. I've just found out that if I would have just walked slightly past the lock around the corner, I would have found this beautiful spot to camp. It's like, you know, this thing is this is made for kayak camping. But there's even a massive pile of firewood up there. I could have had a fire, um, and I, I've. I've, like the lock is broken. There's a there's a big queue of boats. There's an engineer coming out, so I've had to portage the boat anyway. Um, and I could have stayed here, but oh well. I'm getting really low on water, so I'm gonna give my um, uh, give priority to my life jacket. It seems funny, like above Oxford, like every lock has a water point. It's really easy, you just keep topping up as you go along. But like, as soon as I got to like King's Lock, uh, they just don't have water points, I guess, because like in the, ta in the busy towns like that, they don't, you know, there's more traffic on the river. So they don't want boats topping up their gallons and gallons and gallons of big, massive water tanks. So it does make sense. I'm going to have to top up uh, first available opportunity. One thing um, I think it would have been nice to have, although I haven't really needed it, but it would, would have been cool is uh, a water filter, you know, like uh, the squeezy water filter type. Um, I did think about getting one before I came, but you know, there's only so many things you can buy, isn't there? And I, uh, but like the ability to process river water that like would have been quite useful at, at some some points but if i went somewhere a bit more like wild you know where you wouldn't be able to rely on locks and water points you know to be able to just process some river water just for like washing and cooking and obviously with like chlorine pills as well so it would be totally safe and people do it so i think that's that's something for next time Uh, the sort of country that I like is going to be ideal for hammock camping and if I can find somewhere like this to stay tonight, it'd be perfect. I think my back's getting better. I can really start picking up the speed now. I wasn't able to do this the last few days at all. This is more, my, more like my usual pace. See if I can uh, make up some lost time. Try not to stop too often today as well, just keep going. This looks like a water point to me, so I'm gonna go and stock up on some water. I think I've found a uh, home for tonight. Uh, so uh, it's, it's in the woods, which is just perfect. This is exactly what I like. People have been here before. So um, I think, yeah, there's, uh, people have definitely partied here before, maybe camped. Um, it's Saturday night, so I hope it's not like a popular spot with local kids or anything, but no, I've looked on the map. There's nothing anywhere near here. There are no towns, no villages. And uh, I, th I think this, this bid is only accessible by boat. So this, 
there was a bit of litter here, which is such a shame that people do that, man. Like, you know, just leave no trace. Uh, but I, I'm, I, th I, think it's, I think it's boaters. I've had a little recce, and uh, I mean, it's definitely not going to be any dog walkers coming past or anything like that. So I think this, this looks like the spot. Um, I'll get set up, I'll get a fire, I can have a fire tonight. Uh, get a fire on the go, uh, dinner on the go, and uh, maybe a little glass of wine. Better than last night. I've got a proper campsite. Got my uh, fire on the go there. Yeah. Just boiled some water. I've got a hot uh, chicken cup of soup to start, followed by pasta carbonara. Then I'm gonna have some dark chocolate for dessert. I'm gonna boil some more water. So I've got. Um, so I'll put it in the flask. So I've got you know hot water for um, for tea tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and this is just yeah. Life is good. Yeah, today uh, <laughs> the battery banks ran out finally, which is pretty good after six days. Uh, so I could only charge direct solar to device and that's obviously it's not very practical, but I mean, it gave me an excuse to uh, stop at a pub and uh, it's a Sunday and I'm, I'm a very traditional British person. I, I, I need a roast dinner on a Sunday, you know, I do every week. So, so yeah, it all turned out all right. Um, but I've, I've had to like stash the kayak in this park somewhere and it's well dodgy. I just, I hope it's all right. And uh, yeah, I've had a few pints now as well. So I've got to retrieve it. Okay, cool, still here. Right. I think what I need to do is uh, the, uh, pull it up out of the bank, try not to stack it and fall in and go through all that drama again. And I'm going to drag it over there. There we go. It's a lot lighter than it was on day one. Right, get out of this. So this is like a local park where all the crackheads hang out, I think. So if I can get quite far down there, that's where all the other, like the moored pleasure boaters are. Yeah, I'll find a spot down there under a tree, I think. Yeah, this looks like the spot. Wow. Look at that. 
Look how still the water is. Beautiful. Okay. No, I woke up last night with the, uh, the, the sound of um, a baby swan just calling out because it's continuously, continuously calling out. And I think what happened though, it was, it was really windy at one point. So um, maybe it, you know, in the darkness, it sort of got blown off course or something, got you know, caught away from its mum. And um, yeah, it was like right behind here. It's really close. It's like it's calling and calling, calling for ages. And uh, I think I could hear in the distance, um, like the mother calling back. So you know, I hope he got reunited with his mum. And um, poor little swan. Coming up to twilight now, still got a bit of a way to go. I'm in the vicinity of Cliveden, which is where I want to be tonight. There's a lovely little island which I've camped on before. Um, it's within reach. I mean, I, I don't normally um, paddle in the twilight or uh, certainly not at night. I don't think it's that far. One more lock is actually very pleasant uh, paddling um, at this time of day. I should definitely do it more often. Made it to Cliveden, um, 11 hours, 28 miles. Like this, that's the longest I've ever, ever spent in a kayak. Um, my back's been a lot better. Um, it's, it's a bit sore when I get in and out the, of the yak, but um, I just I was able to go at the much more of the pace that I normally normally go at. And um, but it's not really about like pushing it and rushing. It's like 
you know, the hare and the tortoise. You know, if, if, you, if you push in, you're going too fast, you'll knock yourself out, you won't get very far. It, you know, I wasn't, I, was, I wasn't racing, I was just like, if, if, I, if I can make it, I'll make it, you know? And, and then that gives you more stamina because you're not pushing it. I, I just jumped out and uh, I opened the back of the kayak. The first thing I did is pour a massive uh, cup of wine and, um, and I just ate an entire chorizo, just straight out of the packet, the whole thing um, in one go. Although it's been a really long day, you know, obviously physically very like demanding and tiring and everything like that, I feel really good. I mean, um, you know, because of, because of this year, like what, what four months of lockdown does, it's like basically just coiled me like a spring for months and months. And today has just been, um, I mean, this week, you know, of course, but today now I've been feeling a bit better and I've, been, uh, and I've achieved more. It's just like the best release. From, from all of that, all of that, being stuck at home, not being able, I love my job, I love going to work, I love, you know, what I do, and I've not been able to do it. Um, and that's been really, really frustrating and getting me down at the times as well. And I know it's affected a lot of my colleagues as well. And um, I, I just, uh, I, you know, what this whole thing about this week is like, I needed a challenge, but also I needed to know that I could still be challenged that makes sense.